there's one thing I already don't like about these uh, saws. Why put the bearing in the seal in the case? I don't really understand that. Why would you do that? I really don't understand that. But <clears throat> this is like a puzzle. It doesn't come with instructions on what boat goes to what. You just have to guess, basically. Um, I know pretty much the gist of how to do this. It's not that hard. You just, really, all you really need is a heat gun to put the... Um, the crank in the bearings that's not the hard part uh the hard part is is finding out where all these little bolts go to and it's just it's crazy i mean we all know what that is that's the bar studs <laughs> so like all these other little teeny tiny screws and well uh, there's the tensioner so i know what that goes to um Here's the uh, all your rubber pieces for the case, basically. I mean, I know what that's for. That's for the oil pump. That's for the carburetor. Um, that's for the the handle. It's just like this is overwhelming. All the stuff that goes with this. Uh, I know that that goes to the oil pump. <laughs> Uh, the oil pump is right there. So that goes with that oil pump. Um, I've never put one of these kits together before, so I don't, I mean, I really don't know what I'm going to get myself really into. So I know there are two sets of longer boats. I know these are probably the muffler boats, or it could be those but these are probably case bolts uh, if I'm guessing um, I know I got two three those are probably case bolts um, that's the the top cover bolts I can tell by looking at them um, these bolts right here I have no idea what they might go to I really honestly don't probably to um, Uh, they, oh, these probably go to the, um, the, uh, they say there's four here, so there's four on your tank. Now, actually, there's, there's six, so there should be six in that. Uh, well, maybe those are it. There's six in there, so that's probably it, if I had to guess. I'm gonna lay those right there with it just to kind of I have no idea what those little things these these ones are for at all probably extra parts I don't know man oh that's the um for the flywheel so that goes to the flywheel <laughs> uh muffler bolts where's my muffler right there those are probably case bolts these are probably case bolts I have no idea what these will go to uh, it's just a guessing game on this it's it's cool though they give you every part that you need for it but it's it's like wow you know what I get myself into so uh, I'm gonna dive into this thing just I gotta figure out but uh, what most of these bolts go to. So I need I need to figure out the case bolts before I start doing anything because when I start putting the uh, the crank in, I'm going to need them to um, tighten down on the um, the um, the gasket for the, the case itself. <clears throat> Man, this is just, it's crazy 
how much this actually looks like the real deal. But it's not the real deal. <laughs> oh, ain't nothing to it but to jump into it, right? <laughs> Let me get you guys down here to where you can actually see better. So. Okay, I put the chain tensioner in, so that really wasn't, you know, it's obvious. <clears throat> it's not that hard. Uh, one thing I did notice about this is that the seal's in that side. There's no seal in that side, which is freaking stupid. Why would you why would you do this? Why would you send a kit without stuff? <clears throat> I'm already <laughs> upset over this. It's crazy how much they don't pay attention to some little details. I may, I may be just overlooking stuff. I don't, uh, I've looked in all these little baggies. I mean, I know what some of these are for. Let's, uh, go ahead and open this and get it out of here. So I've got it to here. I got the oil pump on. I mean, there's a million videos on YouTube how to put one of these on. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I actually had to watch a video about how to put one on. Because um, I've never messed with the oil pump on a 288 before, so I, I didn't know. Um, so the next step for me is to... Um, <clears throat> start on the cylinder and the, um, the piston to get it going. So let's do that, shall we?
okay. I know I didn't film everything, but uh, once you get to a certain point, it's really self-explanatory. Love that exhaust. Man, that's freak. That's awesome. Um, it's just really self-explanatory. You just, uh, you try to match up the bolts to what you think they might go to, and that's basically what I did. Um, but, uh, I have already, uh, started this thing. And, uh, yeah, you gotta push the sissy button in, because this bad boy has got some power. And it is freaking loud. I don't even think I have to do that anymore. let a tank run through let the ring set and go from there uh, one thing I did have to do is I'll show you guys if, if it'll if it'll let me show you let me see yeah. okay down in there where the carb actually sits and it goes flat like that and it goes into the cylinder. Um, the, uh, the carburetor did not want to sit down on the case itself. So I had to grind it so it'll sit flat into the cylinder. That's the only modification I made to this entire saw. But I grinded it down, went on. This is a uh, 2100, um, air filter and the cradle that goes to this one um, I'm gonna get a low top to put on this saw because I like the low tops better I, I just think they look look better on the saw um, this thing has got some definitely got some horsepower um, I'm just wondering what this thing would be like if I bought a pop-up piston and put in it Cause I know my um, my 272 uh, with the pop-up piston in it, it brought it to life. I mean, it's it's way better than what it was. Um, but I don't know if I could delete the base gasket on this and, and do the same thing. Um, this was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I do have extra uh, screws and stuff, but that's like extra parts that wear out on these saws. And um, like I said, I might just have to um, let this thing run, run its course. <laughs> Why are you acting like that for? Because of that air filter. Why? Yep, that's the cause of the air filter. I absolutely hate this thing. They are so ugly and bulky and just ugly. <laughs> but that's going to be for sale. This, however, I'm going to use this for uh, something else. Yep, when I get some time, I'm going to use it for that. definitely gonna use it um this uh safety shield reflective heat shield is plastic it's not rubber it's plastic i left it out of there because i couldn't get it to line up with the carburetor i tried i fought with it and i said you know what i'm not putting it on there so that didn't go on there <clears throat> another thing i need to put on there 
is this plastic bumper that goes down by the um, the chain. Well, actually, it just went right on there. That's weird, but okay. <laughs> I think it's upside down. It is. Daggone. Well, there it is. Got it. Now that'll stay on there pretty good because it's sitting up against the bridge. The, uh, the, the bar stud guard, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, I already put the, uh, the dogs on the clutch cover. <sighs> Dang, God, man. God. God. There we go. Whew. I was uh, fighting my way back and forth between uh, why does it not want to go on there? Oh, that needs to go back a little bit. Well, that kind of sucks. I can take a grim one, grim one out. But I got that on there so far. I ain't going to put it on there anyway right now because I need to let it run. Uh, like I said, I've got some extra bolts. I've got... Uh, I know uh, some of these washers are supposed to go on um, some of this stuff. Right there's the tag for the, um, the identify, identification tag. Um, I'm going to have to put it on there because it's part of the uh, oil tank. This one's closed off, but this one's not. I don't know why they did that, which is kind of stupid. They should have closed them both off. Uh, I really honestly don't know what else to do to it other than it runs. Uh, everything's on it, basically. I know it's not OEM, but it looks just like it. <laughs> it's it's scary how much this saw looks just like the OEM. There's the bolts for the top, which I'm going to use. Oh, God. Well, uh, next video that I'll make of this thing, it'll be cutting. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have to let this thing break in. So it's going to have to sit and break in. Um, this is a, uh, it's a beast of a saw. It's got awesome compression. I didn't think it was going to be like that, but it really is. But until the next video, you guys have a wonderful day.